listen, uh, we fucked up. This is what the Democrat National Committee told us repeatedly was the superior candidate. Y'all saw the debate tonight. Joe Biden looked lost, dementia riddled, and unable to express himself in addition to the numerous, numerous lies that the old man told. Trump, in fairness, was not at the all-time high of his game. His answers could have been more brief. His answers could have been more surgical. For example, when Joe Biden brought up the fine people hoax, which by the way, Snopes, after seven years, seven long years, decided to finally fact check in reality, the fact that Trump never said that there were fine people on both sides referring to the neo-Nazis because he immediately stated afterwards that, and you had people, and I'm not talking about the neo-Nazis and the white nationalists, because they should be condemned totally. Why do you think five days before the debate or whatever it was that they decided to? I wonder why. Why also do you think that they held the debate June 27th? It's so that Trump could point to the fine people hoax when Joe Biden inevitably brought it up and so that they would have time to switch Joe Biden out of running. That was the purpose of it. Now, here's one of the highlights of the debate that made me crack up. Look at what he is. Look, I'd be happy to have a driving contest with him. The reason I got my handicap, which when I was vice president, down to a six. And, and but by the way, I told you before, I'm happy to play golf if you carry your own bag. Think you can do it? That's the biggest lie that he's a six handicap of all. I was an eight handicap. Yeah. Eight. Yeah. But I have, you know, I mean, I've seen right. you swing. I know you swing. I'm very glad that Trump got in a zinger into this old dementia riddled man who is destroying our nation. And one of the things that Trump is completely right about, Joe Biden is doing that. We have never been more at odds as a nation racially during my lifetime. We have never had, I've never been alive during a time when inflation was this bad. I have never seen people absolutely priced out of the housing market and wondering why there's consternation and why some might join Antifa, believing that there is a lack of hope in their lives. I want the best for every single person out there. And Joe Biden has not provided us, bringing us into world wars. And he continued to lie and lie and lie over and over again from what he said in Ukraine about replacing the prosecutor or the fine people hoax, or the fact that he claims that Trump called people in the military losers for having served. Nobody believed that at the time. Nobody believes it now. All it is is propagandistic lies by the media. And Joe Biden is on his way out to be replaced by that Weasley, oily, unctuous, lizard-faced Gavin Newsom, who's driven the state of California into the ground. And whether or not voters will actually vote for substance and for somebody that they want to lead the country in the right direction, which I believe Donald Trump is more likely to do than either of them, remains to be seen. But what is not going to happen is that Joe Biden is going to be the nominee. And by the way, I have an $850 bet, which is the max on predicted.com or that Joe Biden will not be the nominee at everything from uh, seven to three odds to up to uh, seven to one odds fairly recently. And I don't think that there's a chance that the Democrat National Committee that is going to have Biden as the nominee. That is why Snopes suddenly after seven years just magically randomly fact checked the fine people hoax, which is what Joe Biden ran on last time. The reason that he apparently entered in to the political realm and ran for president as he claimed and why they held the debate so early. Joe Biden is gone. Yonkers gone, Zo. He's going to be replaced once again, in my opinion, by Gavin Newsom. And I hope that I am wrong. I hope that they keep him on. I hope that I lose my money because I will not live in a country where these Democrats that have destroyed our nation by opening up the borders, by bringing us to the brink of World War III, by overtaxing us, by having us at odds with each other, with their rhetoric surrounding racial relations, remain in power. I will not live in the United States under another Democratic presidency.
So I pray to God that everybody out there realizes what a weasel and liar Gavin Newsom is and what an ineffective, horrendous job he's done in the state of California and that you vote the Democrats out. I don't care if you're a Republican, but you cannot be a Democrat. Peace.